Welcome to YouTube Explore channel. Today we'll be going to learn about two of the best formulas Excel has provided in form of VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP. These two formulas are used for sorting information from small data to large data depending on the need and requirement in the Excel spreadsheet. So here we'll start with the first one, VLOOKUP. You may see over here that there are so many bill numbers being provided here and we have to know about the name against that bill number, the group, the amount, the status, and the mode. Out of this information being provided over here, we have to find out the information against this bill number. So we have to use VLOOKUP formula over here. But before starting the VLOOKUP, I would like to tell you about why these numbers are represented over here in the left side because we look up always start from left to right you can see over here c1 c2 these are the column 1 to column 7 so let's start here how to use we look up formula you have to mention equal to then search for we look up when it comes up double click over here the lookup value means i am looking for this value and from where? From B3 to H28. And this is the table area. Afterwards, put column. And we have to look for the column index number. Because inform I have just mentioned you that the reference information shall be provided on the left side. Because we look up always look from left to right. And here, the information I'm looking here for is name, name of this ID. So it resides in column three. So I mentioned here three, and do I want the exact match? Yes, that's why I'm clicking double on both and press enter. You will be able to find the right person name against the bill number 1021. So you can see here 11021, name represented Baman and now I would like to know about the person group as well. So what I can do is I can again use this formula I can mention this one and comma then I have to look into the array here and then I have to look for the column where is the group column group is residing in the column number four so here I'll be using F again false find me the exact match and enter so here we'll be using it for again for amount to find out yeah. this value and this is the table array and this column index number is amount resides in column number five and we'll be looking for exact match here like this you can search for status and you can search for atm mode the payment is being paid but over here you have to say is once you find your information you have to lock the table array because it should not be moving so you can do it with F4, Shift F4, or you can click on Shift then O. And now I click on here, be able to know the name of the persons who are required depending on the bill number here. And similarly, I will do lock this one as well. And when I click it over here, it will display like this way. So what I'll do is I'll just drag it over here and I can change the information here that is A3 and the column is for amount is fifth. So locking the column table array again and again, I just have to mention Adding the little information depending on the 
bill number and against the status as well. You can see here, I'm just mentioning the column number and I'm just editing the Now you just click this and you click here, double, you will be able to find the information in an instant of files. For instance friends, you don't know the ID or you have so many IDs and you don't want to find out like this way. You can use the drop down list over here as well and how you can use this drop down list is you have to click here then you have to go to home and let me tell you a simple way you just select this one come into name box I mentioned bill and after you mention the name just click enter do not click anywhere else if you go back here you will be able to find the bill and the information is being selected so come back to here on K13 now go to data and here in data validation go to list and here equal to you will be able to find the whole information here either you can select this once you go to the list and then select this array column array but here you can just mention the name in data validation bill from the name box it will represent all information here so what I can do is I can use VLOOKUP here as well we look up this value here and the name is in the third column and I'll be able to see the exact match so right now it's saying no typical because I haven't selected any information the moment I select the bill number over here it will represent me the right name so this way you will be able to see the right name against this one so what I can do here is I just lock this one in so you will be able to find the information more easily and I will drag this one here I have to do little edit editing here I have to change the look of value here to this and the column number is 4 same I have to do this here as well for amount lookup and then the column number of fifth amount is fifth Actually, I'll do four the status as well lookup value with this the column number is six and again for more column number is k13 and the column number where the information is residing is seven so here you can see whenever I change any of the information the data being changed over here as well so this is very helpful for you when you are using drop down to find out the single information rather than the whole information over here, here it only depends on the need of the work as well so let's go for the edge lookup now for edge lookup you need to first enter your data in row number row wise here this is a row 1 row 2 row 3 and then to row 7 I have mentioned all the information here and I would like to know these bill number against this information so here I have find one for you like so let me do a real practical here for you as well evaluate this one and the table array is control shift right then downward and here the row index here you have, don't have to mention the column but you have to see the name is residing in row number 3 this is r means row number 3 
So here I mentioned three and false. This way you will be able to see the rife information I find for this one. But what you have to do over here as well, you have to lock the keys of the table array checking S4. And now you will be able to check the information for the next one as well. Uh, just a moment. Okay, you just have to mention the local value as well. And the column. The column number of the group is 4. It's the fourth row where the group information is being residing. And four. The row number is fifth, and for status, the row number is sixth, and the local value is D11. And similarly, for the mode, the row number is seven, the local value is D11. And what you've done is you just have to select this and drag it down to the last value up to where you want the information why this information come up instantly because i have logged this table array here with dollar sign and similarly we'll do the drop down list over here as well what i have to do is i have to select this one up to where the information is being mentioned in the data and I just mentioned them in the name box bills and then click on enter what you can see here is when you click on bills your this row will be automatically selected now you have to go to home then data then data validation but first you have to click on the L11 then go to data validation then select the list then select the row source it's bills this time we mentioned s bills so the whole information has been come up here in the list box as well so what we can do here is we can use hlookup again and the lookup value is this alpha 11 and the table array is Press Control Shift to right, then to down, and you will select the row table array. Afterwards, the row index where the information of the name is being residing is in the row number three. Look at here, row number three. I'm looking for the exact match. Something happened wrong, I think. because we have not selected the value over here as well that's why the name didn't appear earlier so we will use the same here and what we can do here is we can change the look of value and the column number group is L4 so we have to lock the value here in L13 only then we will be able to find the information for the group just locking this value with dollar sign and now I drag this down and I just mentioned the column number 4 for group It's corrected and you just have to change the color number to 11 and uh, change the row as well row of the amount is fifth and here the cell number is 11 and the row is sixth 
it as a board the cell is l11 which is a lookup value and the row is 7 so once you change the value here you will find the information being replaced automatically you don't have to worry a lot because you, this vlookup and edge lookup helps you in finding information in vertical form like column wise and then in row wise as well horizontal form